Today we're looking at the Living Seawalls in Plymouth installation, which is brand new. Um, it's only been in for about a week. And the idea behind it is that it makes space for nature in the urban uh, marine environment. So we're here in Plymouth Sound and you can see there's lots of seawalls all around us. And seawalls are typically poor habitat for marine life. And the idea behind the Living Seawalls in Plymouth is that it increases the topographic complexity by having these different tile types and by increasing the complexity it increases the spaces and habitat for marine life to settle onto. We're expecting to see lots of different species. Depending on the tile, you'll probably get different species colonising them because different species have different environmental requirements. So the organisms that need to stay wet while the tide is out will do really well on the water retaining tiles like this. Um, things like limpets, which need a flat surface to adhere to, they'll do really well on the control tiles that are flat. Um, Oh, algae will settle anywhere, um, but depending on whether there's limpets or other organisms that feed on algae, um, they will probably do better on some tiles than others. For instance, the flat tile, we're expecting limpets to be able to graze very efficiently, and that will remove the algae. So it doesn't mean that algae can't survive there, it just means the, the grazing activity of limpets removes the algae. Um, but yeah, crabs, limpets, snails, lots of different types of algae. And when the tide is in, of course, you'll also see fish interacting with the tiles as well. Um, obviously, they won't be able to live on the tiles when the tide is out, but they certainly uh, will interact with it when the tide is in.